Oh, snap. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. My name's Patrick. If you like true crime, make sure you follow the channel, whether you're on Rumble or you're on YouTube, wherever else this ends up. Just search the Mystery Project, y'all. Welcome in. My name's Patrick. I'd love to have you guys part of the family. So check this out. I just saw this, and I was like, you know what? We need to talk about this. P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, he's in all kinds of trouble. Um, and I just saw that Law and Crime posted a video talking about uh, some shocking details in the Sean Combs sex trafficking investigation. What? Yeah. So let's go ahead. And dive into this video and see what the hell is going on in this situation. The singer whose latest album is called Love is getting a lot of hate right now. This after federal authorities have raided two properties linked to him, one on each coast. Sean Combs appears to be part of an investigation into a sex trafficking operation. And of course, this comes as he faces multiple lawsuits that accuse him of assault and abuse, and he denies it all. Yeah, exactly. What? Man, accused him of rape and human trafficking. I mean, real the worst stuff you can imagine. And then all of a sudden you fast forward and this week you see Diddy's name throughout the whole news. Why? Because federal agents raided properties that were connected to the rapper this past Monday. And it was reported that this is all in connection to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Now, a federal judge signed off on this in order for these properties to be raided. And who were they raided by? harassment sexual assault jesus y'all i see uh i see the notifications went out i was talking to myself for a little bit there welcome in everybody just decided to pop on randomly this afternoon because i saw there was some uh shocking details in the sean puff daddy combs sex trafficking investigation and all this craziness Linz, it's all good i'm just kind of popped on early just to do this one it's kind of a shorter video but welcome in everybody Welcome in, everybody. I got my You Look Suspicious shirt, Jamie. Yes, hell yeah. You know who looks suspicious? Oops. Puff Daddy. Holy mackerel. Y'all hit that like button as you're coming in. Good to see everybody. Let's keep on going. It was a wild scene, though, at these properties. You saw agents swarming onto the properties, sometimes with guns drawn. We saw video of several individuals, including who appear to be Combs' sons, Justin and King in handcuffs. Now, it seems like they were Jeez. detained, not arrested. Uh, and at the time of this recording, it is not clear where Sean Combs is. There's been mixed reporting about his jet, his location. We don't really know. But what we do know. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> That's what he said. I ain't trying to deal with any of this shit. Oh, my God. What if we never see him again? You know what I mean? Or like. Mm, I don't want to get. I don't know. Should we get into? It? I guess we can get into it because it's, it's, uh, it's Rumble. But like, what if like the pow, like the powers that be, right? Like the 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 crazy ones, if you know what I'm saying. What if they're like, oh hell no, he's out. We ain't trying to have any of this come to light. Uh, Shay Shay, Ray Ray, nasty ass pig. Also, love you, Pat. Oh, let's go. I don't even have my thing turned on. Y'all don't even have my uh, my StreamYard even turned on. That's how fast I went live. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Jim and I see you got one too. Hold on a second. Let me put it up on the screen. Uh, but let's keep on uh, let's keep on going. This guy's crazy as hell, y'all. Is that at the time of this recording, neither he nor anyone else has been arrested or charged or indicted in connection with this operation. There are some updates, though. And those updates are what we want to talk about. So first up, this is what I'm there here was for. this idea, as I mentioned, this Hang on real quick. I got to throw it up there. Gemini. Oh, my God. You surprised me. What's up? What's up? What's up? Early bird catches the P. Diddy. <laughs> oh, man. P. Diddy. If this stuff comes out, it's true, man. You're going to catch some time too. catch the rest of your life in prison. Allegedly. I don't know. We don't know, y'all. Let's see what the new details are. Here we go. Here we go. Probable cause, the search warrant signed by a judge. That's a very big deal. Uh, and we still don't know. And thank you for the rumble rants, y'all. Helps me go live every afternoon, apparently, and evening. <laughs> what exactly they're looking for. When you talk about sex trafficking, human trafficking, you're talking about bringing people across state lines for sexual activities, for commercial profit. Um, commercial sex acts is another way to say it. And so what they might be looking at, you might be looking at documents, 
You might be looking at uh, computers, electronic devices. One of the things that stands out to me when I think about one of these prior lawsuits, Little Rod Jones, this producer, he alleged that Sean Combs has cameras in all of his homes, and these cameras captured a lot of this illicit behavior as a form of blackmail. Jesus. So was it possible they were looking at the camera systems? We just don't know. But one of the big updates that I have to talk about is this statement from Combs' attorney, Aaron Dyer. This statement reads, and it was from yesterday, it says, quote, Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush, paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. Meritless accusations? Oh my God! Meritless act. I mean, that's lawyer talk for. Uh, y'all shouldn't be here. What the fuck are you doing here? But meritless accusations. I mean, come on. They don't just raid somebody's house just because. You think you think Homeland Security is just sitting in the office and they're like got like a they got like a wall full of celebrities and they're like, hmm, whose house are we going to raid today? Johnson, throw the goddamn darts, and they just. Bam! Puff Daddy. We gonna get him now. No. There's some merit to something. Something, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? It's just fucking crazy anyways. Let's keep going. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. A lot of things to break down from this one. Number one, yes, he hasn't currently been charged with anything. The civil cases, one settled, the other ones are still ongoing, so he has not been found liable. That is all true. That could change. Is it premature to call this a witch hunt? Possibly. One of the things that I've noted is that it you could say it's unique that indictments, arrests have not come in conjunction with a massive raid like this. Sometimes, usually they do, uh, but other times they don't. You need to build a case. And you hear this idea about perhaps that Uh, Federal authorities have spoken with a number of individuals that might have given them probable cause to then go for the search warrant to find more information. We've interviewed uh, Tracy Walder, former FBI CIA agent, who said that you go into these properties, uh, this raid, one of the things you needed to do was to actually retain evidence, make sure it's not destroyed. Perhaps their authorities were tipped off that evidence was about to be destroyed. Not clear. But the idea of this military level force, I thought, was so interesting because we have to right. Jamie, I got it. Thank you for the off the grid action. Thanks for the love. Remember, again, going back to the lawsuits, again, these are lawsuits. These are allegations, different standard. We're not talking about a criminal case. But when we talk about that and we look at the allegations in these lawsuits, there has been allegations of firearms possession that Diddy forced his associates to carry weapons for him. There was a shooting. That was referenced Two shootings. Let me phrase two shootings were referenced uh, in that little Rod Jones lawsuit where Diddy Jesus. engaged in this and or allegedly engaged in this and then had people cover up for him. So with those thoughts in mind and you're looking at the sp- how big these properties are, it is not surprising that you see this level of force. Authorities don't know what they're going into and they have to detain people, bring them outside, not only for their safety, but for the safety of the people they detained as well as they're going into these properties. So the level of military force, you could argue, was justified. They mentioned that these uh, electronics were seized. We don't know what the contents of them are. We don't know exactly what they're looking for, but that digital footprint, as we've covered in a number of cases, can be quite substantial. Oh, Jesus. Can you imagine? Um, And ABC has reported that uh, agents seized a number of electronic devices. Man, can you imagine the video is going to pop up out of that? Oh, God, allegedly. I don't know. I have no idea. But I've seen a whole shit ton of videos popping around with him and Justin uh, Bieber and all them people. You know what I'm talking about? And he was like, you don't even know. 
people don't even know what's going down or something like that when he was like had his arm around Justin Bieber and Justin Bieber was like 14 or 15. Oh, Jesus. Now, there's another update we want to talk about. I mentioned how there's been no arrests or indictments. Yes, in connection with the sex trafficking investigation. However, there was an arrest of a man named Brendan Paul, someone who is alleged to be Combs' drug mule. Alleged that he... Oh, Jesus Christ. He supplied him with these... Listen, that's a crazy looking dude right there. Anybody that shaves their eyebrow like that, fuck, you better watch out. Substances. This is, I believe, an allegation. Somebody watching is going to be like, my eyebrows shaved like that. The fuck? In, in the um, little Rod Jones lawsuit. Well, he was arrested uh, for cocaine and marijuana possession out in Florida, I believe, at the airport. He has been bailed out. At the fucking airport? Jeez. It's, it's like the one place you don't want to bring any of that kind of shit. Just a little interesting detail about that. Now, his attorney, Brian Bieber, issued a statement to CNN. The statement says, quote, we do not plan on trying this case in the media. All issues will be dealt with in court. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Also want to talk about uh, the arrests here. So, again, there's been no arrests, but there could have been uh, false speculation. Uh, there could have been rumors that Diddy's sons, Justin and King, were arrested. They were handcuffed outside of the L.A. property during the raid. No indication they were arrested. TMZ actually reported that they came back to the home to move things out. When we first saw the images of this, I was reminded that his son, one of his sons, was implicated in wrongdoing in a lot of these illicit acts by Little Rod Jones in that lawsuit. That one of his sons was involved in a shooting at a music studio, that his son was present during a party where minor underage women oh, were present. Shit. So when I first saw the images of them in handcuffs, you could make the mental leap that they were possibly arrested, but that is not the case. They were just detained. Now I also want to highlight something that was a little disturbing. Um, so when this happened, this raid happened, apparently some guy shows up outside of the raid in L.A., Claims to be Diddy's neighbor. Tells reporters that he was noticing some shady things going down with Diddy. Said he saw some wild things at night. It was reported on. It was amplified. It was circulated around. What the fuck? Oh, don't tell me. It's just some random ass dude. Oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Turns out that may not even be true. That he may not even be a neighbor. That, I have to highlight this. When we're talking about a high profile person like Diddy. Okay. Rumors, speculation, misinformation is going to happen. And we have to be careful of that. We have to be mindful of that. And in a legal point of view, when you talk about Diddy and his cases, one of the things he has said in the past about all of these lawsuits is that it's a chain reaction. One person comes out, another person comes out, another person comes out. It's a money grab. They're making things up. That could very well be true, but it could also be that they're telling the truth. So we. Yeah. You have to always keep a mindful eye about people's motivations. It's like those two dudes that were at Twitter. Remember, they walked out and they were like, we got fired. And they didn't even work there. They just made up names and shit. And people were like, look, see, they got fired from Twitter. <laughs> and then it was like a huge thing. They were like, no, we actually didn't even work there. Y'all are just dumb. And why they're going to be coming out during this time. Let's always remember that. And talking about that, let's talk about the celebrity reaction. So there are some celebrities who have made comments about this raid, including Cassie Ventura whose lawsuit really blew, blew up in the whole thing for the public. She accused Combs, as I said, for years of abuse, assault, rape, trafficking. The events Jeez. she described in her lawsuit were horrific. And one day after she filed it, Combs settled. Those details were confidential. But of course, Douglas Wigdor, who represents Ms. Ventura, as well as a Jane Doe that filed claims against Combs, said in a statement, quote, we will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his. Hi, Montreal. Y'all, Montreal says hi. You could probably hear her on the microphone since she's right in front of it. Braved conduct. Even when you settle a case, those individuals could still cooperate with law enforcement. And I got the impression that after the Ventura settlement, it was never absolving Combs of wrongdoing. So let's be clear of that. Uh, there are others who have had beef with Sean Combs in the past. He has a longstanding public feud with fellow rapper 50 Cent, who after the raid posted on Instagram, now it's not Diddy Do It, it's Diddy Done. That seems to be in reference to a documentary series that he's trying to put forward, the Diddy Do It. But he goes, it's Diddy Done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. 
Hmm. Since then, he's posted several memes mocking Diddy's legal troubles. He also said Diddy was, quote, too freaky for society. And then we have Aubrey O'Day. Jesus. She also commented on the reins. Now, Holmes helped launch her music career in the early 2000s on his reality show, Making the Band Three. She joined a group that became known as Danity Kane. But in later seasons of the show, O'Day was dismissed from the group with Combs saying, quote, she wasn't the same person he signed. That fame had changed her. But in a podcast in 2022, O'Day revealed that she was fired because, quote, she wasn't willing to do what was expected of her, not talent wise, but in other areas. Oh, shit. Yeah, you don't like that either, do you, Montreal? Well, after the raids on Combs' home, O'Day posted, quote, what you sow, you shall reap. I pray this emboldens all of us victims to finally speak on what we have endured. Ooh. That is quite the state. Ooh. All right. So those are some developments. We will continue to follow what happens in the Sean Diddy Combs case. Stay with us here on Sidebar. We'll always have a lot more for you. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jesse Weber. Until next time. Oh, damn. Jay Webb coming through with the reporting. Y'all, that's crazy as hell. I don't know. What do y'all think? I mean, <laughs> coming from being in the music industry and like signed to a major label, there's some crazy shit that goes on in that world, which is one of the driving factors of why I left all that shit. Because it is a crazy, crazy world. Um, but yeah, I guess we gotta keep we gotta keep watching. We gotta see what's going on. Anyways, y'all, make sure you leave a like on the video. Follow for more true crime. I'll see y'all in TikTok or on TikTok here in just a couple hours. Love you guys. Take care. We'll see.